and welcome back to Cigar Time, your friendly neighborhood TV show all about premium cigars. Knock that off. So welcome back, everyone. Thanks for uh, for stopping in for uh, December. This is one of our last shows that we'll be doing. Um, next week, we're going to be doing our uh, top five of the year cigars, and then the following week, we're going to do our um, our favorite go-to cigars. So, um, so I would make sure, I mean, I've already bought them, but make sure you guys go out and get your tissues for the last show, because I'm sure it's going to be a very tearful goodbye. Very emotional. Yeah. Well, some are tears of joy. What's the, Others what's, are going to be sad about it. What's the date today? 20, uh, 13th. Today's the 13th. So it was three days ago was our 10th anniversary on the show, doing the show. Yay. And then we're ending it. So. Look, today, uh, Paul, is, Paul is under the weather, so... Um, he will be back hopefully shortly, but I uh, wish him well. He's going to be back for the last show. Why? Because it's the last show? Yeah. <laughs> well, well, no, we're going to be still, we're going to be on YouTube. We're on our own YouTube channel, so I mean, we'll be doing that all the time. You still have to come here and do it, yes. <laughs> I get it. So, I, I, I feel see, like an Al Pacino in it. Uh, they keep pulling on. you back in. Yeah, uh -huh. that's right. So um, today we're... Um, we have a special guest, uh, Ryan Hannigan, who's uh, been a customer of ours for a very long time. Thank you that, for having me, guys. Yeah, thank I, you. I greatly appreciate it. You are it. our first customer in 10 years. You are our first customer uh, who's been on the show. Really? I feel yes. honored. I feel honored. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we talked about it a couple we times. Talked I know we talked about it, about it, but, you know, from about a scheduling you you know, standpoint, we couldn't make it happen. Yeah, yeah. But you know, I'm glad that things worked out. This, I, I feel bad that Paul's not feeling well. Yeah. But I'm honored to Screw sit him. here in his no. in his absence. He's Ryan's in the field. He's he's, <laughs> he's, the, he's the the Wally Pip. Of, of <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. I'm sorry, Paul. <laughs> That's not true. What? How many people know what that means? I, I don't do. know. I know what it means. Oh, if you're a baseball <laughs> fan, you know baseball, what it means. Of yeah. course. So um, today we are smoking the brand new uh, CAO Biloche. Yeah, I'm sorry, not Sam. I'm thinking it's Ricky Rodriguez. No, it's Ricky Rodriguez. It's West, it's... West Tampa. Cut. Stop. <laughs> I'll edit that. No. Um, Ricky, will get, it'll, it'll crack him up. It will. But it's uh, the West Tampa, his new company. Uh, it's been around a couple of years now. It's the Brioche. It's not the Brioche. <laughs> it's Belich. Uh, Belichie. is what it's, I think it's something like that. Something Say it like, like that. your phone. Belichie. 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 Something like that. Um, it's the. It sounds like. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Oh, you know what? No and Ricky. It's the <laughs> you never know, right? Yeah, right. It's the street that uh, his company is on, and it's also um, very um, Cuban esque. They have a, a lot of Cuban restaurants, a lot of Cuban stuff on There's the street. There's even a map on it, so if you ever go down there, you can use this map. Oh yeah, it's a map. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, the name I can't I can't say it. Bullache, bullache. Um It's actually uh, it's a bunch of bullache. No, it's <laughs> it's Cuban pot roast. Is what right, it actually exactly, means. exactly. So, it's got some ham in there. I, I yeah, believe. ham stuff, yeah. all kinds of stuff. Yeah, a lot of Latin influences. Yeah, so we're gonna smoke this today. It's uh, I believe this is a uh, thirteen dollars, like twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. Yeah. So actually, MSRP is thirteen ninety nine for some reason, but. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Our, so, math, our math works better. Yeah. So this is what we're going to review. Nothing but hay. This is our last cigar that we'll ever review. Uh, doing for the TV show. Ricky, you hear that? Yeah. He might be watching. You he's know what? The, he's now around. That, now that I thought about it, we should, we should do the one that we did first. All right. Piss. Go get, go get, <laughs> some, go get the Romeos. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. So, um... And there's no blend information. There's, in there's absolutely zero blend information. They don't give any blend information about this cigar. It looks. Like, it is a Maduro. It looks like a Maduro. And it's. It does, doesn't it? I don't. I had. I did have one of these. I don't. I don't remember it being that dark. But I also. I've don't never had Remember one my yet. phone. I have not had one. So. Uh, also, um, Ricky gets this tobacco from the Oliva Growing Company, who's also in Tampa. Their home office is in Tampa. But I thought Oliva makes the cigar. And that's who makes it too, but it's oh, so the, so he gets the t from Oliva tobacco. He buys the tobacco, and then Oliva, the cigar company, makes it. Yeah, oh, I didn't. I didn't. I, I knew that Oliva made it. I didn't know the other company. Wow, that's a nice draw, man. Wow, uh -huh. that's really good. Yeah, thanks. Holy crap, that's really nice taste. 
It's a six by 60. Yeah, it only comes in one size. And uh, I, I mean, bef I, I, I went over to uh, one of our stores where Ricky was. They had an event with them, I don't know, September or so in Frazier. I just went over because I wanted. I haven't seen Ricky in a while, and he was talking about this project, and he's he's got some other stuff going on. I think he's going to try. I don't remember if he said he's going to do some regional projects, like with like Coronas and Lanceros, because oh. he says there's, there's there's certain areas where that that kind of that su those sizes do really well. Yeah, this is not one of them. Okay. Now there might be some stores in the area that do well, but. Um, so he was he was talking about doing this, and I don't know if this was part of that, or or not, because I remember he he I remember he asked, would I rather have a, a cigar this size or a Corona? And I'm like, right, well, business purposes, Corona. I mean, uh, this size. Cause yeah. Right. That stuff just doesn't. It's yeah, Coronas don't sell. Unfortunately, they they they're really good. It's a great size. Yeah. I still have. To, uh, it's a matter of preference, right? Yeah, 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 absolutely. I know you like bigger cigars. I, I do. I, I mean, when I'm sitting on a beach, that's, yeah. I, I want a bigger cigar. You know, right. it's going to last me. You know, I have to keep you know, keep lighting up new cigar. Yeah, but, you know, bigger in ring gauge or bigger in length? Uh, both, actually. <laughs> so you so six by sixty is good for you? This is perfect. This is perfect size for me. Yeah, it's a little bigger than I like. But yeah, I don't I don't like the sixty ring gauge. Yeah. I don't like anything really over a 54, and I really don't like a 54. But most Toros are coming out now in a six by 54, so okay hey, you got to go with it. Yeah, you got to go with it. So anyway, um, Moose, we know you like this size cigar. Yes, I do. And it's not my first one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Th well, so bigger, big guys, bigger cigars, right? Mm -hmm. Ryan, have you had this cigar? I have not. This okay. is my first time, so and, and you know, you when, and I when the box was the on the shelf, I grabbed one right away. Did you? <laughs> and, and you know, when you when you told me this was the one we were going to be smoking today, I was excited because this I've been, you know, stalking, you know, waiting for this one yeah, to come yeah. out. So, uh, you know, this is this is terrific. Yeah, now you get to smoke one for free. Hey, even better. <laughs> <laughs> even better. So, what so are you talking about? You have yeah. a credit card. <laughs> <laughs> Cash only. Cash only. Yeah. <laughs> um, tell us about yourself, Ryan. Uh, well, what is there to tell? Um, my name is Ryan Hannigan. I live in Horsham in the area uh, mm -hmm. to my beautiful wife, Gail. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been married for 23 years. Wow. Uh, okay. Longer than I, I've been in the financial industry for close to 40 years now. Wow. Uh, I won't mention the name of the company I work for, but uh, and just as long are as... Under, are they being indicted or something? <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> nothing like that. But, you know, <laughs> there's, there's all kinds of, you know, you laws and, you, you know, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> all kinds of regulations that I deal with on a daily basis. Oh, but, really? Um, yeah, but it, it's all good. Um, but I've been a cigar smoker for just as long. Uh, I started probably uh, at around 20 years old, and mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's a wonderful relaxation uh, device for me. And, uh, you know, it's brought me into a community where I get to meet wonderful people like you. And, um, you know, it's it's one of my passions. Okay. What got you into it? What made you, uh, you know, uh, pick up a cigar in the first place? You know, I, I had uncles, you know, the, the old timers, and, uh, yeah. and at that time, you know, they were smoking, you know, the, the Gosha Vegas yeah, or, or the and Phillies yeah, and yeah, that yeah. kind of stuff. And, you know, it's kind of neat to see where, like, you know, the, the, the scar industry has grown you know, oh, yeah. exponentially over the years. You know, it's uh, it's come a long way. It's come a very long way. So if you if you started smoking forty, you're a pre boom then. Pre boom. Pre boom. boom. Oh, pre -boom. oh, absolutely pre boom. Yes, no doubt. Were you pre boom? Mm -hmm. I wasn't. Yeah. Not not to the extent that I'm smoking now. I smoked cigars back then, but back then I would smoke maybe. Maybe ten cigars a year. Yeah, that, now that's you know two days. Sometimes when I play poker, <laughs> it's ten a night. So, but yeah, yeah but huh. not like a lot like Most a year now. Were you pre boom or very much so? Are you? I was eighteen when I started smoking cigars. Yeah, yeah I had nice. my first one in eighteen. My grandfather gave me my first one, but my, it was a my, Phillies. My yeah, yeah, yeah. So my yeah. dad told yeah. me he was tired of me stealing the cigars, <laughs> and I was doing it wrong. He sat me down with a decent a Garcia Vega. A Garcia, a Garcia <laughs> Vega. There you go. <laughs> he says, "Now this is how you do it." He gave me a little rocks class. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, 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 right. Of course. Never knowing he set you, you on the yeah, path you that you're set on me now. Up for a path of ruin. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> But yeah, I've been smoking since I was 18. I hmm. mean, not to the extent I am at this time. Right. right. 
But, you know, that's something you build up over time. You yeah. don't do it I all once. I smoked cigars. I had one here and there. Yeah. But right. they were... But I couldn't even comply. I mean, not 10 a year, no. It was like, you can play poker in the dorm kind of thing. Yeah. 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 Um, and that was about it. But so, um, yeah, I, I, I grew up in the middle with my, my cigar, cut my teeth in the middle of the boom. I wasn't allowed to smoke in the dorm. Neither were we. Well, I was going to school in California. Ooh, good <laughs> That's a shame. Wow, the land of fruits and nuts. <laughs> this is you've true. You've changed. <laughs> the, left, <laughs> the left coast. And you survived that, so that's, you know, that speaks volumes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's cool. I know you're, um, you're a big baseball fan. I am. I'm uh, heavily engrossed in Philly sports. Yeah. You know, I'm, uh, I'm one of those guys that... Uh, yeah, you're like every sports event, every... Uh, yeah. All these, like... Well, I guess be, fundraisers. Or be, something? Well, besides besides being a Philly sports fan, uh, I've been heavily involved in char- Philly Philly charities for the last uh, I would say probably fifteen to twenty years. That's cool. It started out with uh, the Cole Hamels Foundation uh, when he was with the Phillies, mm-hmm. and then I did some work for Shane Victorino, Ryan Howard, Jimmy Rollins, uh, and now recently. Um, uh, I'm friends with Michael Barkan from NBC Sports 10, mm-hmm. and they have a wonderful foundation, Barkan Family Healing Hearts Foundation, that does a lot of great work in the community. Um, and just recently, uh, a childhood friend of mine, Ruben Amar Jr., uh, started a foundation in his father's name, Ruben mm-hmm. Amar Senior Foundation. So you do the Goldbergs too? Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, well, we went to the same school, so we went, wow, we went cool. to Penn Charter, so. Oh, cool. Um, so yeah, so they, Ruben just started a foundation in his father's name, and uh, it's helping you know uh, underprivileged athletes you know achieve their goals, their sports goals, and uh, so my wife Gail and I are happy to help him you know whatever way we can you know make that those dreams come alive. So oh, good for you, fantastic. Yeah, I mean it's it's about you know life's about giving back if you can, and uh, you know I I do my best to try to support my friends and, and family, you know, whatever way possible, mm-hmm. you know, because um, the rewards come back. So, yeah. Um, you know, I try to support friends in the scar industry, you know, when uh, friends that are uh, or sales reps or whatever, they, you know, they, they might send a cigar my way. And I said, look, if I like it, I'll, I'll put it out there. And, mm-hmm. and I, you know, I do what I can. I got a pretty large following on social media. So, you know, if it helps them just a little bit, you know, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm good with that. You know, yeah, people are like, absolutely. oh, you know, you should start a YouTube channel. Nah, I don't, I don't need to be part of that. You know, I just, I just want to help. You know, when yeah. I can. So that's cool. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's great. More supporting, people should do that. It's great supporting good people. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And you know, and and and, it's, and, it's, and as far as like small businesses too, you, I, you know, you guys are a small business, and mm-hmm. you know, you always treat me, you know, make me feel welcome here. And you know, if I can do anything to help promote you guys, I, you you're know, doing that now. Yeah, absolutely, and, and again, it's my honor to be here, and uh, I've been watching the show for a while, and now this is kind of a dream come true for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. You should tape it and uh, never, yeah. never yeah, let it go. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Cool. Oh, his dream was my nightmare. <laughs> no, not, not you. I, I you understand. Like being, being on the show. Of course, I know. I believe you. I'm sure it gets old, you know. Yeah. But. So. All right, let's get our first impressions. Moose. First impressions is really too hard. good. It's really hot in here. What? Damn, Damn good. good. Okay. I didn't, I, okay. I didn't pick up any subtle flavors yet or anything. Okay. All right. Well, the draw on is fabulous. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I'm not picking up a lot of notes yet, but you know, my my expectations for this cigar were very high because I'm 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 a fan. Of Ricky. I'm a fan of Riff Rodriguez. You yeah. know, from when he was back with CAO and mm-hmm. anything that he's involved in. Um, you know, it, like not to get off track, but like food, food, wine, cigars are they're kind of subjective, right? So right, it's yeah. a matter of taste. Um, and you know, I found like different people in the industry, like when they say they like something, I I try it, and and, and I know, you know, if they like it, I'm going to probably like it. And the fact that he's got his name attached to this thing, I I kind of knew that I would enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's it hasn't disappointed so far. It's it's been fabulous. So. Okay. Scott, how many of you had, by the way, of this? This is your what? Second? Okay. 
get a little bit on the retro hell a little bit of pepper um kind of Ooh. like earthy or vegetal um leathery i'm not I'm not quite i haven't identified it yet of course some you know not even a half inch in so it does burn very yes. long it, yeah yes i noticed that too yeah very what do you nice think about burn. the strength so far I'm it's probably about a, road. yeah I'm, probably I'm, a two. Yeah, two I'm, and I'm half. thinking medium, medium, yeah. high, I'm medium like, maybe. Yeah, I'm like two point five, three, three out of five. Yeah. Two point five or three out of yeah. five. But for some for some reason, I find stuff stronger than you guys. Medium plus maybe for me. I got, I'm getting a, I'm not getting any pepper yet, at all on my tongue or. Did you the retro? Retro? Yeah, uh, I'm yeah, not I'm getting, getting any of that. I'm getting it through the, the my olfactory. Who knows? I'm I'm getting um, a hint. A very little hint of like cocoa powder. Mm. It doesn't taste like chocolate, but I'm, like, like cocoa, baker's powder? like a baking powder. Yeah, yeah, Bake, baker's chocolate. Yeah. yeah. You ever you ever chew that? You ever eat a piece yeah. of baker's chocolate? Yeah. No. Boy, that's a curveball right sure there, man. Out. Good <laughs> lord! I think, oh wow, look at this. You, you weren't expecting that. Like, you weren't <laughs> expecting that. Man, it's nasty. It's a little harsh. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they don't serve it that that's way. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> I think I'll cleanse my palate with this. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Cleanse my stomach too. <laughs> wow. So it, it's very yeah. pleasant, but like no, you I'm said, picking up the cocoa too. Oh yeah. 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 Um, we should probably, I mean, talk about. There's other. Uh, Three other cigars by Ricky Rodriguez, which we just call the West Tampa White, Black, and Red. Yeah. Right. They have official. Are there official names for it? That yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. Um, really? White, Black, and Red. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good. 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 Uh, <laughs> comedy to me, Mike. That was a one off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Ricky, I'm, I'm sure oh, we said the, this before. He had uh, the uh, the Attic series. Yeah, oh, that was right, that was right, a right, limited right, run. Right. I had somebody come in and asking for him. I'm like, yeah. If it was you, our if, best seller. If you see them, once it, I found out it was a limited run, I bought two boxes. Did you? Well, this, this is a limited run, right? Am yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 500 Only boxes? 500 boxes. Is yeah. that it? Yep. Yeah. Oh, what? Uh, you know, I did know that. So, yeah. But then they're 50 count boxes. They are 50 okay. count boxes, yeah. But, um, yeah, he's coming out with another Attic series, but it's not ready yet. Yeah, I asked him about well, when, I, when I met with him. He, he didn't give much information, and he just was like, yeah, hey, we got stuff going on. Uh, yeah. But he's, uh, He's he's a fascinating individual too. He's he's a lot of fun. He's a little bit crazy if you're with him out. Mm -hmm. um, Rick. Yeah. 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 And then you add Rami to the mix. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a whole nother thing. But he's the only trained uh, blender in the industry, master okay. blender. Uh, they they pulled him aside 11, 12 years ago. Benji did, right? Yes. And. Uh, Actually, it was funny to hear him tell the story that he thought he was, they were told him to get, thought he was going to get fired yeah, he yeah. Was in sales. And uh, yeah, they, they said they wanted, them, they wanted to train him to be a blender. Wow. Yeah. So I didn't know that. I, I guess all the other blenders just sort of grew into it or okay. were, you yeah. know, through experience where they said, oh, this guy's pretty good at this. So uh, they had a great palate. But yeah, he's the only, I had to, this was five or six years ago when we first found this out, so it may have changed since right, then. Right. I met Ricky <clears throat> I met Ricky a long time ago, but like I think it was oh seven or something like that. I was in Honduras and he was there. Um Oh yeah, I remember. No you don't. That's right, I was there. on that trip. That's Finally right. convinced you I wasn't on the trip. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> um yeah it was uh, I was in I was the Rocky's factory um in Honduras and, and Ricky showed up. And yeah, he's he's a lot of fun to be with. Yeah. Is he working for Rocky or were they? No, he was he was with General. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he was if they were partnering on something. Uh, he didn't say that. He was just in Honduras. I guess he was just in Honduras to see General's um, factories because he was with with General back then. So. Okay. Rocky just came, they just came out with a new one. And it was before uh, Ricky had the, his stroke. So okay. I think I, I think he had a stroke not long after that. Are you guys getting in the Dark Star? Yeah. It's pretty good. So I was actually surprised how good it was. So what else is going on? We have half hour. Well, who, I, every, every time you, you post something, Ryan, we're friends on Instagram sure. and Facebook. And Facebook, yeah. You've got to, you're with a different celebrity. It's Oh, again, it's it's the charity work. Um, I thought you were best friends with these people or something. Uh, well, you know, Ruben Amar and I, we went to grade school together. Uh, 
He seems like a fascinating person. He's a, he's a wonderful individual, and and you know I know he gets a lot of grief, you know, as far as you know when he was the GM and you know, certain moves or whatever like that. But he made some really good moves. Too. I thought he made some really good moves, but uh, they got to the World Series. What else? Yeah, do you abso want? absolutely. But yeah, Rudy, wait, did he win the? the, the no, he he, he started in 09, I believe. No, he was, was he it? was he was actually the assistant the assistant general manager, general manager. Right, yeah, yeah. When they won in 08, uh, and then he took over as right. the general manager, um, got them there. Uh, with you know when they played the Yankees, unfortunately lost. But um, yeah, you know he's he's done everything in baseball there is <clears> to do. You know he he was a player, mm -hmm. not a very good player, but a player, and he'll tell you that. Yeah. Um, he was a ball boy, wasn't he? He, he actually started, started out as a, a ball kid, boy. Yeah. <clears throat> was on the team. Right. Well, yeah. his dad his dad was the first base coach for the Phillies in uh, in 1980 when they won the series. Oh, there you go. Um, <clears throat> and then he you know obviously he grew up with, in the game and you know he. Uh, Played ball at high school and at Stanford University, and yeah. then. Oh, so he's smart. Yeah, so he's a very smart guy. Um, does he still Does he still live over in Yardley? Uh, he has a house in Yardley, but he, he has a house in Center City now. Okay. That he. Uh, so I ran into him at like a Wawa, and our kids played on the, in the same soccer league, so I used yeah. to see him yeah. out on the soccer field. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, we we actually went to grade school together. So we, I, he's he's probably one of my longest lifetime friends. We've been friends for over fifty years. Well, that's, that's awesome. Cool. That's awesome. So you know, and it's you know, I, I just have. Sure, a lot we should have had him on the show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Does he smoke cigars? He doesn't. You know, but I do <laughs> have. Really? Talking about Philly sports, I do have a friend in Philly sports that is a big cigar smoker. And I was actually, you know, going to talk to you about maybe ha doing something with him down the line is Bernie Perrant. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. We've met, we met Bernie. Bernie. Yeah, uh, he had his own cigar. Rocky made yes, a cigar for yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Bernie. Uh, still. Actually, Bernie used to be a customer of ours. Yes. He used to come in all the time. Yeah, well, he, his, he, Bernie, uh, Bernie's mother-in-law lives in Warminster. Okay. So when they're, him and his wife, Ginny, are in the area, they, they live, they, they have a house with the mother-in-law in Warminster. They have a house in Avalon, and they have a house down in Florida. Mm -hmm. um, but he's he's in this area a lot. Yeah. Um, uh, fortunately, get, my wife Gail and I were able to spend some time with him down in Avalon this year, and, and you know we, we sat on his deck and smoked cigars, and you know you want to talk about a surreal moment. Like, oh, yeah. uh, you know, as a as a Flyers fan, and I'm like, <laughs> he's <laughs> I'm sitting here smoking a cigar with Bernie Bryan. It was, yeah. it was just incredible. I, yeah, he's my time I met Bernie. I was I was a chef for many years. Yeah. And I was cooking in a restaurant, and this guy walks in, and I'm looking at him, and I'm looking at him. And he goes and sits down, and I call the waitress over when she was getting the drinks, and I says, take a look at his left hand, see if he's got a big ass ring with diamonds all over oh, yeah. it. She went up, she's looking, and Bernie goes, what are you looking at? He says, the cook over there told me to look to see if he had this ring on. And he's chuckled to himself. <laughs> <coughs> After he, and he signed autographs for everybody, uh, even though he was having a business lunch, yeah. People would come up. Can I have your autograph? Yeah. He signed everything. Yeah. And then afterwards, when the, when he when they were leaving, the guy left. He was talking to. He stood down at the end of the line and talked to me for twenty minutes. Because yeah. right. I was so, the only Rick. I'm the only one that recognized him. <laughs> I, 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 I tell you what. You mentioned like being around a lot of people, and I I've been very <coughs> fortunate and blessed in my years um, to be around a lot of celebrities and athletes. Bernie Perron is probably one of the most incredible individuals and his wife Jenny. They, I mean, they are just the soul of the earth. Um, yeah. Like, really. Uh, they're from they, Canada. <laughs> they, they, they really are. They're, they're wonderful human beings. They do a lot of uh, work in the community and with, with pets and, and whatnot, and they're just, just very good people. Bernie, yeah. Bernie is my all-time sports hero. Is he? Really? Uh, yeah. Of, all, of, of all, all Philly sports, all sports oh, ever, he's my favorite player. He's we got, we got was, to get him in here now. Yeah, yeah. When he was playing, <laughs> I used to wear, you know, I played street hockey and ice hockey myself. I used to wear a T-shirt that says, only God saves more than Bernie Perron. <laughs> My father had that doesn't, bumper sticker on his car. Doesn't one of oh. the, I, th I think one of the boxes, the one of the, the boxes says that. Yeah, I think. It probably does. Could, it could I have, have a, yeah. I I have a bunch of the boxes. Born in Bernie Perron, something along those lines. Yeah, probably, yeah that's what it was. Probably right. Goalpost, the Goalpost yeah. uh, cigar he came out with, because they named him after yes. equipment. Right. That's yeah. correct. And he had one, it was called Goalpost. Correct, and correct. That saying was probably on that box. Yeah, we met him, uh, the first time here uh, during the, our Big Ash Bash, when we had a bunch of, we had a ton of manufacturers here, and um, his cigar was coming out with Rocky Patel at the time, so this was back in 13. 
Right. And um, he was here and signed autographs. And he was here for a long time, man. I'm surprised. Like like Moose was saying, he was. He'll stay there as long oh, as somebody's he don't there. Care. Especially if yeah. there's kids involved. I mean, obviously there's not going to be kids involved at a right. cigar shop. But, right. But you know. Um, I just see the way like he interacts with children. It just it really warms your heart. Like yeah, he's yeah. just a genuine individual, you know, yeah. and and he gets it. He's one of those guys that gets it, you know. Like yeah, um, he brought two two cups, two Stanley cups to this city in the in the early seventies, mm -hmm. and you know, and and he's he just loves the fans. He he really does. Um, and I think everybody loves him back. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I, I don't know anybody who doesn't like Bernie. Yeah, Brown. no, he's he's the real deal. Especially really if you is. meet him, he's a great guy. Oh, he's he's fantastic. I still remember the game when he got clipped in the eye. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. yeah. oh yeah. end of an era. <laughs> yeah, I remember um, when Ruben Amaro was um, assistant general manager. Yep. Um, I was rooting for him because we knew um, what's his name. Um, the old general manager. Ed Wade. Ed Wade. No, yeah. When he left, I was hoping that he would get. Yeah. The, and he did. And I'm like, happy. And then when he got uh, Cliff Lee back, I'm like, holy crap, dude. Yeah. That's a great. Absolutely. That's a great move. No, I was just, I remember when that happened. I'm like, all right, just ain't getting World Series. Yeah. yeah. yeah how do you not with that rotation, yeah. man? I forgot how to hit. Yeah, well, he had he had a relationship with the Cleveland the Cleveland Indians organization. Well, it's well, he played there. He played there. Yeah, yeah. And now it's the Guardians. Completely correct. Not on this. Not on this. Not on this panel. Well, he he played for the Cleveland Indians, yeah, so yeah. he did have a relationship with the organization, and so he was able to make that happen. Um, you know, unfortunately, they didn't get it done in '09, but you know, it, it was an exciting time. You know, it was a great time as it is now to be yes. a, a Philly sports a Philly. Philadelphia Philly sports fan. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, all, all of our teams are turning things around now. You know, yeah. finally the Flyers are starting to play. Yeah, Flyers absolutely. are starting absolutely. to play. Absolutely, they're, they're fun won. to watch. They're fun they to watch back again. to back overtime games. They're they're fun this to never watch. happens. They're or they want to a shootout yeah. or something. Yeah, against Pittsburgh, which is a beautiful thing. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh my God, I hate I hate the Penguins. Oh no doubt. How yeah, but you not? love Pittsburgh. I don't I don't mind the city of Pittsburgh. There's nothing wrong with the city. No, it's a nice it's a nice city. But hold on, why would you move to Pittsburgh? Oh, because it has no basketball team. <laughs> <laughs> I hate basketball. Funniest thing you've ever said. <laughs> ever. Yeah. <laughs> you, you think that's funny. It's true. I actually thought of moving. I'm thinking about moving to Pittsburgh just because they don't have a basketball team. I wouldn't have to change my driver's license, nothing. It's the same state. And it's far enough away. No it's a, basketball. It's a great cigar city, too. It is. Yeah, it is. I mean, it might be one of the best. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. It is pretty good. Um, I always wanted to go to Pimani Brothers, but I haven't. You know what? Uh, besides being a cigar guy, I'm a bit of a foodie guy too. Yeah. I, I think it's all kind of gimmicky. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you know the story behind that. It was like yeah. done for, you know, so uh, steel workers or whatever could get a meal, you know, all in one shot. You know, right. put the French fries on. It's it's all right, but I mean, I would put, you know, ten. Hoagie's shops in South Philly against uh, any Pernambuco uh, brothers. Okay. Okay. It just that's just my opinion. Yeah, cool Again, guys. food is subjective. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. So it's a matter of taste and a matter of. But I, I think it's all gimmicky. He just got third best cheesesteak in Philly. Did he really? Yeah. Who's that? Goombas. Oh yeah, yeah Goombas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's by your Colmar store, right? Yes. That's. Yeah, he's right up the street. Yeah, I Nicky. pass it to it's where we. It's where whenever we have events, that's where I get all my food. Nicky, he's a character too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ran into him one day at, at Wawa, and uh, he's like, he was getting a getting beer, but he didn't have his driver's license on. Oh, really? So he goes, "Can I buy your driver's license?" <laughs> to and I didn't have mine on me either. <laughs> so my girlfriend gave him hers. Oh, so that's he could hilarious! Buy I'm like, ah, yeah, that's nice. Nicky. That's for yeah, sure. That is. <laughs> <laughs> He's in Florida right now. He's a good yes, guy. He is man. Down, I think I believe in Lauderdale. Uh, he's another guy we should have on the show. I th I thought about that. He uh, might get. Well, yeah. Well, well, we'll maybe. wait till we go to YouTube. There you go. And it doesn't there matter what he says. <laughs> well, he, he used to be that he was in. He would go to Florida for a week and he'd come back for a month and he would be miserable until he had to got to leave again. Right. Um, which was so he'd be down there for a week and then he'd be back here for. Three or four weeks. Now he's down there for three or four weeks, and like in fact, he got back from Florida with his grandson like Friday, and he went back down yesterday or Tuesday. Huh. So he's he's spending more time down there. But yeah, he's in uh, Hollywood. Okay. Is that on the East Coast or West Coast? East. That's a shame. Mm. I've I've been where 
I've been to his house, but I've been down that area. Beautiful. Is it? Oh, man. Is this as nice as the West Coast? <coughs> the West Coast is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, Dude, it looks might be a little deceiving. younger. I lived there for four years. It looks are very deceiving. Where? In California. Oh, oh no, we're talking about West Coast. No, we're talking West Coast of Florida. Oh, West Coast. Oh, I didn't realize there was a Hollywood. Well, Hollywood, Florida. Florida. Yeah, yeah. Hollywood, Florida. The one thing about Florida is you can't. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting a cigar shop. Right. They're that's true. Everywhere. Well, I mean, yeah. Good Lord. Manufacturers there. That's why, you know, Tam West Tampa's there, so. Even, but both coasts, they're everywhere. I was fortunate enough when we were down in, um, we usually go to spring training every year, mm -hmm. down in Clearwater, and uh, we visited a, my friend Mario at, in Sarasota. I stopped to see Art at one of the Sarasota, Sar Sarasota, uh, um, Cigar, cigars. Cigar, cigars. And what a, what a beautiful place that is. Is it really? Oh, I yeah. haven't been there yet. Nice bar. I, I mean, it's, he, and he, I said, all right, well, I said, this is gorgeous. He's like, yeah, well, things are a little different down here. You know, you can do more things and, you yeah. know, without running into the headaches that you have yeah. in uh, George is, Pennsylvania. George yeah. is more forceful, too. Yeah, right. Did you meet George? I did. He's awesome. Yeah, George Sosa, right? Yeah. He did yeah. That. Good guy. So, yeah, I was with he's him in Nicaragua guy. for a week. He's pretty funny. Yeah. He's an interesting dude. Yeah. So, but yeah, they, they keep telling me to come down, and I just don't have uh, the time I, to go down. I, I think you should I'm, make a point of that. I, I was should. actually, it's funny, it was a friend of mine, we go to Eagles games all, we went to Tampa to the Eagles game mm -hmm. in Chicago, and we're, we're talking about going down the, to spring training. I highly recommend it. That's just, you know, for a baseball fan, if you're like, you know, guys like our age, mm -hmm. um, it, it's, it's a must on your bucket list. You know, it's just because you got people that are there for the love of the game of baseball. You know, yeah. it's, it's everybody super yeah. friendly, you know, and then and then on the other side, like you, you got beautiful beaches, you got great restaurants and yeah. like you said, cigar shops everywhere. Um, but it, the, the I, I believe from where we stayed in Clearwater, it was only an hour drive to Sarasota to, to, yeah, it's not yeah. far, to go yeah, see yeah. art. So, yeah. you know, it was a home run. Um, when you were in Clearwater, did you go to Fusion by any chance? It's a cigar. It's like a bar and cigars. Uh, no, I right didn't. I've heard of it, but we didn't go. No. Oh, it's really neat. Yeah. Hmm. But no, you got to do that. I'm telling yeah. you, you got to do it. You just make, I mean, even if it's for like a four day, you know, yeah. the other way, you got to do it. Mid middle of the week. Catch a, catch a game yeah. and, you know, you, you're, you're, you sit there in the stands and you're just like, oh, this is it. This is baseball. Yeah, this is when baseball like should be done. Yeah. 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 Can you smoke a cigar in the stands? No, you can't. <laughs> but they do have sections that, that, down there that you can Probably um, out, out, yeah, out, by, out by the Tiki Bar, yeah, yeah. You, you can. You're, I mean, you still see the game and everything, Oh, absolutely. Right? Yeah. Oh. It's kind of like they got the bar you can sit at, but of course your back's to the field. Then they right. have a layer of seating. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can have In front of it, that faces the field, so you can have yeah. your drinks and smoke a cigar. Oh, yeah, no seats? That's a, oh, yeah. As as and I, I, and I yeah. caught a couple guys that, like, they have oh. a berm out there. There was a couple guys yeah. that were smoking We could recreate that whole Macanudo ad. Remember that? No. Oh, oh that, yes, right. When, when, you know, guys are watching a baseball game, yeah, smoking a cigar. It. That's it. Wouldn't well, that be great? Bring those that. days back. That would be awesome. When I was a kid, <laughs> Next up I is spent airplanes. a whole summer at Connie Mack Stadium. Oh, that's a fantastic. Every thing. home game. That's fantastic. Every home game. My father was a sports reporter for the Philadelphia Bulletin. Oh, wow. So I got to watch every game from the press box. Nice. You'd walk in there before the game started. You'd walk in. Of course, all the guys, you know, all the old guys are buy me candy and soda and feed them all that crap, send them home. Um, go. Yeah, so, I, but every one of them had an ashtray. It was twice the size of this one and okay. a typewriter. By the end of the game, that that ashtray was just covered with cigar butts. <laughs> I wonder if, I wonder if uh, you, you may run into my grandfather. I, I told you before he worked yeah. for the Bulletin, but, yeah. and he was, a, he was a big cigar smoker. Um, I mean, he wasn't, you know, part of the press, but he, I'm yeah. sure they let people. What did he do there? He was like a typesetter or something. Oh, I might have met him myself. Because my dad would, you know, they just back then they had take the kid to work day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And my dad took me down to the type centers and they set my name in type. Oh, uh, cool. cool right? It's reverse. Yeah, yeah. It's all yeah. the type set in reverse, mm -hmm. so when it right. hits the page, it's right. Very cool. So they made me my, put my name in typeset and gave it to me. That's fantastic. So I was down here, saw the typewriter, that's saw cool. the printing that's press. That's so you cool. still have it? Yes, I do. I oh, hope, that's cool. I hope so. yeah. That's great. Yeah, that is yeah, really that's, cool. I got, uh, believe it or not, like women. I got a memento box. Sure, of course. Yeah, that's, Why not? That's in the box. Yeah, Beautiful. I don't blame it. That's awesome. That is pretty cool. Every now and then I break it out. I should have had too many beers or drinks. So I'm sure your dad knew Ray Kelly. Then. 
Yeah, no, he knew it well. My dad started out as a sports reporter. Well, right. Actually, when he first day, he graduated on a Friday night from Frankfurt High. Okay. Monday morning, he was working as a copy boy wow. at the Bulletin, and he went from copy boy to one of the editors That's fantastic. before he left. That's fantastic. Yeah, mm. He worked his way up the chain. He ran the uh, Jersey section of the paper. Oh, cool. Very cool. That's really cool. Yeah. And then he went into politics. Connie okay. Mack, huh? Yeah. Well, I spent a is lot it of Connie time Mack or is it Shy Park? No, it was Connie Mack then. Okay. It, it, it changed. In fact, Dick Allen was playing on the team. Oh, yeah. yeah. Later in years, when my dad was in politics, Dick Allen's wife was my dad's one of my dad's secretaries. Oh, oh really? That's cool. Yeah. Very cool. And I've seen a bunch she, of games. She, there, she lives too. up in Bedminster. Really? Yeah. I never, you never saw a game of Connie Mack? Oh, no, yeah. my first game was at the vet. Ugh. My my first game at Connie <laughs> Mac, I went with. But uh, then it was pretty cool though. Yeah. Oh sure. Yeah. After that summer spending the thing, the first time I was actually going to Connie Mac with somebody else was with our little league baseball team. Oh, uh, Okay. My seat was behind one of the pillars. Uh, <laughs> and and trust there me, were a lot of those. Yeah, there was a lot of those seats. <laughs> well, so, I mean, seventy one. I was four years old, so yeah. I wouldn't. Uh, if I did, yeah. I wouldn't have even known. Yeah. 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 Vet opened seventy two, I think. Correct. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I, I sent. I went to a lot of games at Connie Mac. My yeah. grandparent, my grandfather, and my dad took me to a lot of games. Did you smoke cigars? I did not smoke cigars. No, not back then. I was I was I was indoctrinated in an early age. <laughs> yeah, you had no there was had no, no escape. I had no no way to get out of that one. And you survived though. Right? I survived, and you're right. in the business that's now. It, that's it. I still have my my grandfather's last cigars. Um, the, were, the last ones he bought and he hadn't smoked. Lived, yeah. Okay, yeah. I just wanted to clarify that. No, you weren't clearing smoke. out the butts. He didn't have smoke. All the smoke. Yeah. Uh, and I have his, my, my sister snatched it somehow, gave it to me for Christmas, his ashtray. Oh. Uh, very cool. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty neat. And yeah. it's like, I'm so, like when I empty the ashes, it's like, it's like a stand and then it has a, like a glass ashtray in it. Oh, yeah. It's so freaking oh, cool. Oh, no, that's yeah. old school there. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's good stuff. I got a... I went to one year was a bat day, and yeah, they stopped that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is how crazy it was. It wasn't those little bats. It was a full oh, size yeah. bat, I got, I got. and they gave it to you before you went uh, into the game. Yes. Yeah, they don't do it that anymore. It was called self defense. Yeah. Yeah. In case things get out of hand, you kid, you can defend you yourself. Yeah. It well, was. It was a Don Money bat. There you go. Yeah. Don Money. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. That was a long time. I got a Greg Lazinski. That's why he was my favorite Philly. Yeah. And my cousin got Mike Schmidt. The ball. Yeah. Two years ago, I took uh, Rose to see her first Phillies game. Oh yeah. Yeah. We sat. We sat out in the right field behind Harper. There that's a, oh, that's, that's cool. so, so, Those outfield seats are awesome. Well, yeah, it was for handicap because you know my wife's handicapped. Oh, okay. So we parked. We walked 30 feet. Got in the gate. Walked another 30 feet. Got in the elevator and walked another 30 feet and to you're our right seat. There. And we're under the overhang. Yeah. Right. All I had to do was reach around, tap the guy, and get a beer. Because yeah. the beer concession was right oh, there. Nice, nice. <laughs> Nothing wrong but that, that was her first first Phillies game. Did you <laughs> smoke cigars when you were there? No, no, no unfortunately. That's a shame. That's a shame. Oh, yeah. well, well, I was, I was also, I, 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 I was mean. also with my uh, my uh, daughter and her husband, and so they don't smoke. And okay. they, you know, they don't Neither smoke. did you when you were young. Well, no, and then no, look no, what no, happened. Was it, it, look it, at you now. Yeah, look at me now. I can't stop. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> well, I only had one yesterday. That's good. Though. So did I. I only had one. Yeah. I was in New York for most of the day, so okay. I couldn't. Yeah. Oh, my wife was up there too for work. Yeah. I was between. She was uh, at Thirty Rock. Uh yeah. No, I was. I was in. Uh, he, I was near the Empire State Building. Yeah. I was at Thirty Four. Spent most of the time on Thirty Fourth Street. He was at the embassy. I was at the <laughs> Japanese. I was. I was at the Japanese embassy. Oh, well, really? Well, not the embassy. The consulate. Oh, cool. Yeah. Very cool. Same thing. Yeah. So I <laughs> spent time there. I didn't go above thirty. I think, I didn't go above 42nd or 43rd, and didn't go below uh, 33rd. So I wasn't really there that much. She, I was. I went over to Lexington. Yeah, yeah. Avenue and stuff, so. She said that my wife told me that the city was like. I mean, well now at this time of year, you know, with the, now the trees up. But oh yeah. It's yeah. crazy, you know, crazy busy. I mean, it's it's crazy busy any time of year. Yeah. Now it's just insane. It is. So. I went to, went to Macy's. Their, oh, their cool. stuff's all up and everything yeah. like that. It's pretty cool. So. What'd you get? I didn't get anything. Smoked cigar when you were in there? I did not. 
<laughs> is that frowned upon there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, if I would have known it was frowned upon, well, I would have never have it up. Actually, I, I don't remember a was couple weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, they pulled that the so not old? smoking in pen, not smoking indoors in Pennsylvania. They they like took it out of that whatever bill it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Evidently, it's back. <laughs> that happened last week. They took it out. Yeah, they, well, they carved it out an exemption. Three. It was like. It wasn't last week, but it was like it, it was recent. three or four weeks ago. But I, and unless, unless the report, I have gotten three emails about this, and mostly from the same company. Unless they completely screwed up and are sending the wrong email, it's it's there. It's back in. Yeah, I sent I sent out emails this morning to uh, Warren and Santa Sario, our rep, our senator and representatives. Because they they said they carved out an yes. exemption for cigar stores and that might have been a certain Senate, that might have been a Senate bill. This one's a House bill. Well, they probably haven't taken it out yet. The Senate may change something. They have to send it back to the House and they have to confirm the change. So it hasn't been changed yet. Okay. Yeah, but this was uh, I, I don't I don't know. I mean, it was on it was in the half wheel report this morning. I think no the, no was this it in morning. The half wheel? Was it a half or was it PCA? No, 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 no. it wasn't a half I got a, it was, actually I think it was from a, I think it was from Smiley Face Company. Really? Sent it out. I get a lot of my stuff from the PCA, so. Well, they're also, and, and half wheel. since we're on uh, regulations, they, uh, they're they delaying the uh, final ruling or whatever on the banning flavored, menthol and flavored. Oh, really? Yeah, they uh, it was supposed they were supposed to make a final decision right around now, uh, but they're delaying it until March of next year. But they they, they don't think it's going to happen next year either. Actually, the the, the belief is uh, in the political world that it'll be pushed off until after the election. Okay. Oh, um, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it makes perfect sense. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, well, you would think since the Democrats are in office now that they would push it, try to push it through before, because the Republicans are the ones who don't mind the smoking. Except Trump was the one who signed in the 21 years. Trump, like, isn't a, he's, 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 a, he's not a cigar, not a cigar smoker. smoker. No. He's, he's not. He doesn't like them, so, but uh -oh. I mean, how that'll affect, I mean, I don't. Speaking of government and smoking and that stuff, did you see Cigar Fish United's uh, recent edition? The no. Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah. one? Did you no. read the interview? No. You should read the interview. It's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Is it really? Yeah. I just got it, so I haven't had a chance. Yeah, yeah I, I just saw it. I didn't, I, I didn't I, read, I, it. I read it when I was having lunch in the back room here. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Are there any places that you can, in the area, that you can yeah. still smoke? Mm -hmm. but no, I'm not talking about lounges. Yeah. I'm talking about bars. Yeah. Uh, Havana in New Hope. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's, that's all Hope. outside, though, right? Outside, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. inside? Because I know there's yes. there, there's a spot, I, like some, some. I mean, I don't know when the law went into effect, but I know there was a spot in Warminster uh, on County Line Road, uh, Richie's, that was kind of grandfathered in for like a couple years where you could still smoke at the bar. And they had they had a section off where, you know, the, the bar section was, you could smoke, and then they had like a restaurant section that you could not smoke. Right. Um, I mean, it was for the longest time. Like everybody, every cigarette smoker, cigar smoker in the area was going there, and you could smell, you could still smell the yeah, smoke yeah, in, the, yeah. in the in the restaurant part. But that they stopped that about a year ago. I've heard recently that the Logan Inn has a, it's Logan Inn. That's a New Hope, right? Yes. Yes, I've I've heard they have a, a smoking room. Oh really? Inside. Right. Okay. Yeah, it's not big, and I I don't know that it's. Somebody was saying something about they're, they're still waiting to get a license to make it active or, or okay. something to that effect. But I, And I read, I, I can't remember what it was. I was on some blog somewhere that somebody was asking about it and they were they, they had named like one or two places. And I apologize, I can't remember what they were. Well, you can smoke and eat it in our store. There you go. <laughs> you, can, you can buy something on the street and bring it to our store and do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Richie's mm -hmm. you were talking about, is that the one on County Line? Yeah. 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 The Walsh's. Yes, yeah, yeah, right. It's Walsh's. I think former Marine and... Yep. Uh, I know Richie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah good people. Then Walsh's Walsh Tavern? House. Yeah. Oh, my wife grew up like three blocks from there. Yeah. Well, he's got Back two in spots. the Speedway? Yeah. That's where I grew up. She was on Cedar. I lived up on uh, Norwood and Maple. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
edit that. So it's a D E I don't live there anymore. I J K L. You're like 12, 12 street swimmer. Yeah. Okay. It's the only section, the only section of town, and all the streets are alphabetical order. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. And they're all they're all named after trees or something. right? All of them were named after trees. Yeah. You go right, make a a right out of her front door, and she was right right there, Altamontes. Yeah. Great yeah. spot there. Oh, oh my God! Yeah, <laughs> I'm not allowed to go in there without adult supervision. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Have you been to the one in Doylestown? The one in Doylestown. Yes. Oh, oh God. God, it's amazing. God. It's awesome. amazing. Yeah. My wife, when I go there, her words are, "Don't deviate from the list." <laughs> That's what she says to yeah, me. Yeah, right. <laughs> Which yeah. is very difficult to do. I, I tell my wife we're going up there, and she gets all giddy. And happy <laughs> and my wife's Italian. So there yeah. you go. There you go. It's, uh, that's crazy. We actually get, for some of our events, we started getting food from them. Yeah. yeah. Catered. They, yeah, they do some good stuff. Yeah. Shit. It's really good. No doubt. Boston's like that, too. Their streets are named alphabetically. Yes, correct. Yeah. Ours are numbered. Ours are numbered. New York is numbered. Streets and avenues. Except for downtown. And Atlanta's all peach tree. Yeah, right. It's so like tree. everything's Peachtree, yeah. Peachtree peach tree Road, Peachtree Avenue. Yeah, we're at the corner of Peachtree Lane and Peachtree peach tree Sway. I'm like, <laughs> what? Yeah, how do you find it? There's another great cigar city, too, Atlanta. I've never been to Atlanta. Oh, I've never even been to everywhere. their airport. Oh, you're not missing much from the airport. Yeah. That's a busy airport. Sure. Big I might, I, actually, big I was hub. in the airport once. I've been many to times. Talladega. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, went down a couple, like, quarter race down there. Biggest one is Chicago O'Hare. Yeah. O'Hare. That's a crazy airport, man. Oh, I used to work in it. Did you really? Well, the company I worked for when I was with Marriott, we owned and or leased space and ran the restaurants and bars and stuff. Could you smoke them? Yeah, back then, yeah. Uh, and it took it took like I'd have to go from like the Starbucks to work in there all the way over to I don't know some like Sabaros or whatever restaurant. And it was like honestly, it was an hour. Walk from really? one end of the airport oh, to yeah. the other. It was oh, it's, it's unreal. huge. Unreal. It is. It is huge. Then Midway used to be small, but Midway's massive now too. They renovated. That was the last they time did. I was there. They renovated. Oh my god! The first time. Twenty years. The, ago. the first time I went to to Midway, it it was like a, this nothing little airport, almost like the one we went to in Honduras. Yeah. But then the second time I went there, I was like, holy crap! This place is massive. I went to one somewhere. I can't remember where it was. Um, it was probably Miami or, or something where they had smoking rooms. That, not not like Vegas where you've got this cube and like. Yeah, no. Miami does. Miami does, Miami does too. <laughs> well, there was a place where it was. It was like a inside, a but three it was quarters, outside. It was like a three quarter cube where you could you could sit and you'd be have two walls and a and a wall behind you or two walls on either side. But you were exposed to outside. Outside, to the, right, right. Were, you, were we there together? Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. That was my. It was Miami then. The yes. most confusing okay. airport I ever was in was in Paris. Really? That was, dude. They it's got all French, the, man. Well, no, wait a second. No the runways, because they didn't have a lot of land for landing the planes and all. The runways, you land and like, once you're taxiing, you're taxiing forever. Right. Because and you're going through neighborhoods. Oh, and the wind tips really? are just missing the buildings. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and then you fi you finally get to the terminal. Right. Right? And nice terminal, but it's a little old. It was, you know. But it, yeah, you're you're going down the ta taxi way. Just missing the, the, the apartment buildings. Oh, that's <laughs> that's, I was there that's what you get for going to France. Wait a minute, DFW where you drive over you 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 uh, taxi over a, a highway. Yeah. Which is kinda weird. And in that airport's so big, you land in uh, Fort Worth and you taxi to Dallas, yeah, or vice versa. But yeah. it's Huge. it's massive. I've been there too. Huh? Spent four days down there. That was great. I used to go to Texas like every three or four weeks to Dallas area. Were you ever to the log cab the log cabin? Mm -mm. Oh, that was a great place. No, nah. it was a strip joint restaurant. Oh. They, had, they had a walk-in humidor. I mean, it was an upscale place, you know, and so the, the food was excellent. The scars were good. The girls were better. <laughs> Did they girls charge you to just talk to them? Oh, Lord, it cost, <laughs> it cost my poor buddy a lot of dough. <laughs> In Baltimore, I was, I was doing a movie down there, and 
it was, it was a three day shoot. So one of the days we were there, we everybody in the cast went to this strip club. And they wanted ten dollars for you just to talk to them for ten oh. minutes, just to talk. Like we're talking now, they would yeah. charge you a dollar a minute. Oh, more. You owe me a lot of money. Come on. I'm like, are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, are you kidding me? And they're like, no. Nah. I'm like, okay, I'll say it. I'm, like, I'm not charging you. And they charged me five dollars for a club soda. Wow. I'm like, dude, come on, man. that's ridiculous. Did you see our there? I did not. While, while we were there in Dallas, we stayed at the. You know that hotel that was like had a big ball on the top of it? It was always in photos because oh, it was so. Yeah, yeah, and they just yeah, recently yeah, yeah. renovated yes, yes, it and yes, all that yes, stuff. Yes, yes. It overlooks Dealey Plaza. Wow. Oh, wow. So we're, our room was facing Deal Dealey Plaza. Okay. So there we are on the eighth, ninth floor of this place with a bottle of bourbon, a box of cigars, yelling at people, don't shoot! <laughs> <laughs> and there's a there's a big <laughs> X in the middle of the road, yeah. painted X. Oh yeah. really? Th that's supposed to mark the place where, where the, the first where, bullet where hit. That, oh, wow. Really? Oh. People are standing in the middle of the road getting their picture taken on the X. It's still a working highway. Wow. And yeah. you know, cars are woo woo, and the guys, you know, down taking a picture of his wife and kids. You know, it's like, are you people nuts? That's crazy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. People are dumb. People, yeah, that's crazy. Part Isn't of history, it? though, I guess. Is yeah. the repository still there? Yeah. I'm sure it Oh, is. it's a museum now. Yeah, I'm sure. They, the school district doesn't own it. Town, uh, the city took it over. Can you go up it. and take a BB gun and pretend you're... I don't <laughs> think that would be a smart thing to do. <laughs> hey, he's interactive. He, he was a big cigar smoker. Yeah. JFK. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cigars, yeah. Remember, yeah. He, he, went, and he signed the embargo. Right. Before he signed it, he sat on his desk until about midnight. And all the agents went out and took out all the Cuban cigars they could get in, mm -hmm. the, in the area. Yeah. I think it was Petit Upman's. Yeah, it was, was Corona. Yeah. He, he bought yeah. he bought everything he could get his hands on. Yeah, yeah. And then he signed it. Sure, of course. <laughs> yeah. He, like he was thirteen hundred no cigars. He was yeah. no dummy. Uh -uh. Or smart. Well, he was with no, Marilyn Monroe. So yeah, well, how dumb can he be? Right. So well, he left the top open that day. <laughs> this is true. So he can't give this me that smart. True. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Can you imagine something as simple as that? Oh, do you want the top up or down? <laughs> and that determined your life? You know, for being the guy I am, I would vote up medical look at the wife and says, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> if he would have just put that up, he would have probably lived. Right. Well, it's just like uh, in The Godfather. If uh, Sonny would have had Easy Pass, he would have never got wiped nah. with the... <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> That's my boy. That's exactly right. <laughs> you, never heard that. you never heard that before? He would be alive today. He'd be alive, yeah, if he had Easy Pass. <laughs> Although there was that car that stopped in front of him. Yeah, stopped short. Sure. That, so. that, that, yeah, but if he had an Easy Pass, too, they would have yeah. uh, But, you know, such is life. Thank God I have an easy pass. <laughs> That's why I got it. That's why I got it. I was going to say. That's why I got easy pass. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Anyway. All right. Let's, let's get our what? final thoughts here. Moose, what are your thoughts on this cigar? It's an extremely well-made cigar. <clears throat> um, I also got the chocolate that you were mm -hmm. more of a dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, not much pepper at all. Mm -mm. Um a little bit of cedar. Uh, that's about it. It's, it's not overpowering, but the subtle no. flavors are just a really good smoke. Mm -hmm. um, I get it a 9.5. Out of 10, okay? Out of 10. Right. Oh, we're going to grade it now. Yeah, we're, yeah. Okay. Well, you I, watch the show. You know, uh, how I know, it works. I know, I know. I just, you know, I want to make sure. I don't want to. We, we got five minutes, so I don't want to a little bit. I don't want to overstep, so. That's all right. Um, well constructed cigar. I mean, which is kind of what I expected uh, with their products. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm a fan. Um, I do get a little a little bit of pepper. I do little hints of dark chocolate. Um, it, just, it just burns well. A lot of smoke. Yeah. Um, I would, I, I'm, I'm going a little higher. I, I, I want to say this is like a 975. Wow. Okay. And I think, you know, for, from a price point too, it's, it's right in that wheelhouse. Yeah, anymore. Thirteen is. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, it is. And like you say, you know, how you, life's too short to smoke cheap cigars. I mean, you know, you I, I, I I live by that. You know, so you know, my thing stay classy. You're absolutely you right. Know, you know, yeah. it, it you is. Can. Everybody, everybody's got a comfort level, right? Right. You know, and and that's this is where you know I typically look. Um, 
I think it's, it's a great everyday cigar. Um, yeah, 975. Well All done, right. Rick Rodriguez. Yeah. Scott. There's something going on in there that I can't identify. The closest, I, I want to say it's got like a, a sweetness or almost creamy or, or vanilla. It's it's in that kind of realm, which surprises me given the, 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 the darkness and what I anticipate the, the filler being. Mm -hmm. Although that's a pretty white ash, so there could be some Dominican. Um, I, I do get a little bit of spice. I think it's a little bit north of medium. Yeah. Um, and I still, I, I get earthy characteristics, um, maybe yeah. a little salty, just a, a touch. I just got a little hit of sea salt. Yeah, some, yeah. yeah something going on. That's a good call. Yeah, so I, I think I'll go um, 925. This is a really good cigar. Yeah, uh, this is, I think there's, you can, he doesn't disclose what, what the blend is. So um, I'm assuming it looks like a, it looks like a Maduro wrapper. Um, and I think there's... It could be a dark Corojo. It, it could be, but I, I'm not sure. Um, it's hard to see with these lights. Well, it's pretty thick, so broadly... It is a, it is a thick, yeah. yeah. Um, and it's... it's the San If it was a San Andres Maduro, it would, be it, would be, it would be more toothy, and it would be a little fuller body. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. So it pro if it is, maybe it is a... Connecticut Broadleaf. I, I don't know. We're sitting here and Ricky's probably watching the show laughing. Ah, oh, you're all wrong. Dumb you're all wrong. Yeah, you, yeah, you dumb You dumb bastards. Could be PA41. So, yeah, maybe. Um, hmm. I, I think that would be a little toothier, too. But maybe, it, but it, it is be... thick. It is a thick leaf. You know what? Because I'm not getting as much of the sweetness on the wrapper that you would from a, a Broadleaf. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. But um, I'm, I'm getting a hint of pepper. I'm getting more of the, the cocoa, and I got that sea salt um, through the retrohale and the earthiness that you were talking about. It, it's delicious. It's an absolutely delicious cigar. Really is. I wish they would made it a smaller cigar. Yeah. Like a Toro. I'm quite happy they made it. Uh, Toro, I'm sure. This is my size. Even, even if it was just a Toro, I, th yeah. I think it would be perfect. So um, he only makes really three size cigars. Right. He makes a Robusto, a Toro, and and the six by sixties, which I think is smart. He doesn't. It's not on the market yet, but I've had a. I think it was the Red Lancero he gave me. Really? Yeah. Oh, how was oh, that? Oh wow. It's good. Yeah. And the I, red I, one. The, the red, red one is red. my favorite. I love the red. And I, I agree with and that. And I, I I like it more than I like the Attic series. The Attic series was fantastic, yeah. but I think I like the red better. Um, I give this a nine five. So, yeah, I think it's really, really good. Average is out to a 9.5. Yeah. Yes, it does. Now, I know he's very, you know, uh, he keeps it close to the vest as far as, you know. The blinds. The blinds again. Yeah. Will, I know he doesn't reveal that to the public, but will he tell, eventually at any point, tell, like, you guys I in the know. industry? That's a good question. He, he, uh, probably. Probably yeah. at some point. Maybe when, the, maybe when it's done. It's uh, safe to tell me because he, he probably did and I forgot. Uh, <laughs> I got you. I got you. I didn't know. He might after, after the run's over. I maybe. got you. Yeah. Or maybe he might come out and use the same blend in different sized cigars. Right, right. And call it something else. Gotcha. Got so, I mean, companies do that all the time. So, well, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget, next week we have um, our... Uh, Top five cigars of this year. I'd like to thank Ryan. Thank you very much, oh, brother. Please. Thank I appreciate you so much for having me, awesome. guys. I appreciate it. Thanks. Oh, don't let me hang Don't hang Don't let me hang Come oh, on, man. Sorry, right. I guess you got him. <laughs> Ciao for now, everybody. Stay golden, pony boy.